guys, Hillary here from my so-called home and I wanted to share with you today how I recently reorganized and re kind of cleared out our coat closet which is right behind me and this is kind of in a very central location in our home so it's very multi-purpose. We keep coats in there, we keep our vacuum and other cleaning supplies, I keep things for Evie, I also keep craft supplies, projects that I'm in the middle of working on. And then of course in the winter you have hats and gloves and scarves and all that. And I also keep decor in here. So it is very multi-purpose and it kind of, like I said, kind of fluctuates with the season. So it is constantly a process. I constantly have to be um, clearing this closet out. But I recently added in some uh, organizational items that I think are really going to be super helpful and hopefully will maintain the organization that I have right now. So go ahead and check this out and let me know what you think. apologize in the beginning that the lighting in this closet is not the best. I'm going to try to get as much light in as possible, but uh, there's no light source in the closet itself. So first I'm going to show you the door because you can see that perfectly well. You can see I took down a lot of the things that were hanging. I had scarves here that were kind of more summery, so I put those away back in my closet upstairs. And then, you know, there'll be room on these hooks for winter scarves when that time comes. But Right now it's kind of a transitional period. Um, you can also see I added this command hook and I just am hanging my reusable shopping bag. I use that not necessarily to go grocery shopping because I actually really want the plastic bags from grocery shopping. I use them for diapers and stuff like that. Um, but this is like if I'm bringing something somewhere, um, bringing a meal somewhere or things like that. And I don't know, it just was, you know, crumpled on the floor. So I decided to just give it a hook and have it have a permanent spot to be in. So that is the door. And these are Evie's coats and sweaters. And I have just a two, um, two hook hook over the door hook that I actually got at the Dollar Tree. So that was really inexpensive. And so now our door is much, much neater. So moving on now to the main part of the closet. This is the area that got the most change, um, you know, it made the most changes. There was so much clutter just down at the bottom. So the biggest improvement was adding this um, just wooden shelf and I had it actually in our basement so I didn't have to buy it. And actually my brother-in-law built it many, many years ago. We've had it the entire time we've been married, so at least eight years plus. Um, and we've used it kind of all different ways around our house, but it was in the basement and it wasn't really being used. So I just swapped something else out for it, which was very easy. And now it's, you know, just the perfect, perfect piece to put in this closet. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but it's so perfect for holding things, you know, that were cluttering up the bottom, but now everything's organized. It all has a place to go, which is really fantastic. I think that this is really going to work very well and it's still left a lot of space for our vacuum that we keep in here, a fire extinguisher, and that's basically it. Nothing else is cluttering up the floor. But you'll see here, I added in these bins that were from the Dollar Tree, so only $3 that I had to spend. Um, so these were the things that were kind of cluttering up the floor. So we have crafts and different like projects that I'm in the middle of working on, my washi tape, um, just little things that, you know, I'm working on it, but then I don't need it to be here all year, but I don't want to put in the basement in my craft area. So just having a designated spot for it is perfect. And then we have Evie's shoes, and I just kind of layered them on top of each other. Um, and then she's probably going to grow out of some of these fairly quickly. But uh, for now, that's all of her shoes. And my husband and I keep our shoes under... Um, our entry table by the front door, but hers usually stay in here. So this is the perfect spot for it. And then now I have a spot for my diaper bag, which I'm so excited about because typically I just leave my diaper bag and my purse, which is also up there, just on our dining room table, which is just right over here. Um, and you know, when we come in, I just kind of would drop it on the dining room table. There never was a spot really for it to go. So now I have a designated spot where if people are coming over or if I'm just gonna use my purse and I don't need to use my diaper bag. So now I have a designated spot for it, which I'm super excited about. If I wanna put it away, put it out of sight, it has a place to go and it's not creating clutter anywhere else, which is the goal of 
this closet was to make room for my diaper bag and my purse and I've accomplished both of those goals so I'm super excited so like I said now I just have a place to rest my purse right on top of this little shelf here it's out of the way it's not infringing on anything else and it's I think it's good working out perfectly um, now on the side I do have some cleaning products because this is right off of our kitchen so I have our broom there and then in the very back I have my Rubbermaid reveal mop which I know it's very dim I'm sorry but you can see it there hopefully it will focus there you go our Rubbermaid reveal mop is in there on the wall now of course this is also our coat closet so we have my husband's sweaters and things on the side we have some extra hangers for guests and then my sweaters on this side and a longer coat is just off to the side down there so that's the main like body of the closet which I'm so so excited about this is just working out beautifully I love it so much um, then moving up into the upper part of the closet I'm actually gonna stand on a stool and give you a closer look okay so now in the upper part of the closet this is another change that I was so excited to just kind of brainstorm and come up with I had these kind of hanging racks that would normally go on the inside of a cabinet or something that would hold like you know Ziploc bags and aluminum foil and stuff like that but I needed a solution to deal with like I said we keep plastic bags for diapers and litter and stuff like that so we had them hanging on this just bar on a, um, a hanger we would clip a bag and all the bags would be in the bag but it was you know it looked cluttered from the front it was just like this big bulky bag right here and I didn't like it I wanted to take advantage of this space that was underneath the shelf up here so I came up with the idea to use these hanging racks and I just zip tied them so I have these little zip ties from the Dollar Tree of course and then I just pulled them really tight and snipped off the end so now they are hanging up here so well they're not gonna go anywhere but it's also not permanent so if I want to take them down it's very easy just snip off the zip tie and you know move on with my day but so this is now how we're storing all of our plastic bags and it's really great it's super accessible you know when I'm standing down here I can easily grab one um, and I just I love it I'm so so happy to have come up with this idea I think it's gonna work really really well then at the top of the cabinet this is a little bit dark again sorry but we keep paper towels on this side this um, tiered shelf was from a, a thrift store many I don't know last year or so um, and so that's just dividing the space because this cabinet you know that it's pretty tall in here the closet so I wanted to take advantage of all that space so I have just decorative items up here like you know more fragile breakable things just all the way in the back there's no way it's gonna fall out I'm very happy about that and then I got two of these like wash basins from the Dollar Tree and you can see I labeled them this is decor so we have just extra decorative items in there and you know I'm constantly switching things up so I know what's in there it's okay for it to be up there and again these are kind of more breakable things I don't want Evie to get to so they're up there then in here I have candles and corks which is kind of random but candles for if we had like you know a power outage or something just not really decorative candles just you know utilitarian I guess candles and then um, some corks for projects and stuff like that I just I don't know I seem to be like accessing them frequently so I decided they should stay there so because I organized all the things that were up here I actually brought a lot of things down to our basement and got rid of a lot of things I had just stuff here that you know you put it aside you think you're gonna use it but you never do so I finally was able to just get rid of those things now I have space up here since I organized everything into the bins and pushed them back I have space here for you know when I'm just standing down here and just reaching up I need to put something away quickly you know closets to me especially this closet in particular is kind of like my in-between place to put something if it's you know in between seasons or something I just need to deal with later I now have kind of like a drop spot to put those things and then since they're not like getting mixed in with the stuff that's normally up here you know it draws more attention and I'll be able to deal with it quicker hopefully um, and then the very last thing that I have up here are a box of light bulbs just because they're easy to get to off to the side and they're out of the way but that is the whole closet guys and I'm really really happy with how this organization turned out and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed um, it will stay nicely organized 
So that's it for our coat closet. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any helpful tips for how you organize your coat closet or any other closet in your home, I would love to hear about them. But again, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.